in today's video, we have some, I have something special. Now, I'm not doing this video alone. I have someone, I know I'm <laughs> Helen Mutoni, super host. I can only make up to me, Gisana, super host. She's a singer. You know, a woman of God, a friend. A woman of God. <laughs> a soon to be wife. Uh, amen. Hey. This is about to say amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. So, Helen, what's your skincare routine? I don't have one. Okay, Michael, what do you do? It's just washing my face every morning with cold water mm -hmm. and just making sure during the day I take plenty of water. That's it. So, mm -hmm. Helen, tell us, have you ever slept with your makeup on? Yes. Yes, I have. Oh my god. Let me tell you what happened. Uh -huh. I was coming for classes here at Kare's Beauty and um, one Saturday, I would always come for Saturdays. So one Saturday, she did a very nice makeup on me. Yani, it was so nice, Yani. She even had some glitters on, on the top of the eye and stuff. I loved it, Yani. I was like, are you sure you want to do this? Are you really sure? Do you know I slept on the couch that day? What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done to you on set? Well, um, one is, one, okay. I have a lot of weird stories. Let me wonder that you remember. Uh, one I think is, um, my, my inbox, mostly on Facebook, if I tell you that I will answer every message in that inbox, I'll be lying to you. It's, it's, it can take days. And I thank God I have all those messages. It's not by... Anyway, so uh, one day, I try to go through them uh, sometime when I'm sitting down and I really need to do something else. So I went and I found one that had written to me over like, 500 messages and I thought well I need to see what the hell this person is saying because there are 500 messages yes so I I opened the the thread or whatever anything here and I was just trying to go back to the first one so I can see what <laughs> what they had told me or where this whole story is coming from yeah. honestly to be honest with you I never got to the first one so nearly and that took a katikati and the guy was angry that uh, that i didn't sleep at home that day how did he know wait so I, I even went to the picture to look at who is this mad at me that i didn't sleep at home that day so he's asking me in the message where were you i waited for you the whole night <laughs> and you didn't come home and yesterday I saw you with your co-host. So did you spend at his home? <laughs> this cheating has to stop. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, am I, 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 I married and I don't know? <laughs> so um, apparently the guy was in a relationship with me and I didn't know. For a, a long time. For a lo long time. What are you saying? Like three years. Okay, so what's one thing that you still have? Childhood. Like a like an object. Yeah. I think it's a it's a doll. For real? Uh, doll. Yeah, white. So anyway, <laughs> back to twelve year old you. What did you want to become? Twelve year old. Twelve year old. Twelve year old. Twelve year old. Because I'm twelve. I honestly didn't know. Mm -hmm. But I remember. I remember one day, I don't know whether I was 12 years old. Okay, first of all, I always sang, but I didn't know singing can be a career. So I can't say I wanted to be a musician. But I remember in class 3 or class 2, um, when you grow up, what do you want to be? So me, I told my teacher I wanted to be a, to be a president. Yeah, I totally think okay. he's cute. Oh. I do, I do, and I like his jokes. 
I do. Would you date a fan? Not a romantic one. Not like that. No. I will never date a fan. Uh, your worst date experience. Uh, <clears throat> to be honest, I've never been to so many dates, especially currently with with my career but way before when i was a bit younger maybe this should be like the most embarrassing moment <laughs> okay so i when i was in nakuru i think i was around 19 20 years up on kihansu nakuru uh i was invited for a day out uh by a guy <laughs> and uh, you know when he asked me to go date him as in for the first date mm -hmm. In a swimming pool, like a swimming, a swimming date. That should have known that was so fishy from the word go. Now, he or she or she mm -hmm. I, I bought a swimming costume, I was good to go, I was excited. And uh, the only thing is that I had braids. And Zihazi was in Mecca one week, I was in Shukwe. So I knew I had to, to, to protect the, the head. <laughs> but Ushamba ile ni konayo. Ushamba, Ushamba. This is what I went with. What? Shower cup. Shower cup. <laughs> but it's not a thing. It's not in Mombasa. No, it was not in Mombasa. No, I'm saying it's shower cup or a thing. What a thing? Yeah, I mean it's shower cup. I don't know, I was very young. Maybe you didn't get your body was it? Interesting thing you have heard or seen this week. On seeing what you something interesting that maybe you have seen or heard someone say or seen somewhere in social media. Oh, yeah, I read somewhere. Uh -huh. uh, actually, I was just I just came across a, a post by Mudofinjo Paint and Cement, and they were saying there's a post that read, if you don't build your dreams. Somebody else will hire you to build theirs. Do you see me shout? All the time! Oh my god, I love the so echo. Sad. Echo in the shower, it's awesome. I sing in the shower all the time. Say, say any word in Spanish. Como uh, estas? I don't know what that means. Wait, I, I knew I knew a word. I knew a word in Spanish. Um, uh, te quiero. Te quiero. Yeah, te quiero. Mi amor. Te quiero, mi amor. <laughs> te quiero, mi amor. <laughs> yeah, definitely you know what that means. It means I think, what? I don't know. I love you, my love. What's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened or that like when you look at life on a TV? Um, on your show. Well, <clears throat> with my co-host, you can never have a script for what he'll say or what he'll do. I think, well, I think there are two instances. Mm -hmm. One is when I had a very big shanga that I had worn. Mm -hmm. And then when I was dancing, in Ikatika, <laughs> and it just fell, yes. It, it just fell on the floor. I thank God our producer is very quick, so it didn't even air. People who are not keen, nobody actually got to know. So that one is not really embarrassing because nobody yeah. actually noticed. Yeah. So uh, what did you believe? What did you believe when you were a kid that you were not to do You you do know my dad died when I was young. So I never really got to spend time with him. I totally believed he was not really dead. He he was somewhere and one day he'll just come back. 
and walk in. So, what do you think happens hmm. when someone dies? <laughs> Um, I think they go to to a place where they wait. They await judgment. Mm -hmm. So mm. when did you realize that you are a celebrity? Well, I I realize that every time somebody stops me for a selfie. Oh, and you forget like you <laughs> Yeah, I totally forget. So I wanted to ask you what the the downside now of being a celebrity. <laughs> you don't have a private life, really. Um, and you can't enjoy the simple stuff, some of the simple stuff that you used to without judgment. The upside, I think, is to see people telling you that maybe you've changed their lives or something. That's nice. Let's do the lipstick, guys. We'll be back. <laughs> So what's your uh, honeymoon destination? Ah, somewhere mm. with a big ocean. Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How can I can give advice to a 20 year old Helen? If you are to give her advice now, what would you say? Hold on. All this mess that you're seeing around you will one day make sense. What have you, what have you learned? About uh, friendship, especially with a uh, celebrity. Oh, a lot. Um, I, first, I've learned that there are different types of friends. There are friends that you, you only deal with socially. Um, you can't do business with, you can't be... Um, any other thing other than social, uh, putting the money to play, which are very good and very healthy um, to have such. And then I realized there are others in my case, spiritual friends, that uh, when I'm going through something, I'm just, hey, you guys, let's meet up and pray about this, let's fast about this. Um, this Bible verse is talking about this and that. And then there are the business friends. The ones that you sit down and analyze and say the market is going this way, I think we should do this. Flani did that, it didn't work, so we shouldn't do that. So I think I've learned that there are different types of friends. If you are to choose between a old man or a young man, <laughs> I think I would choose. I don't know. It's still hard because I'm 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 looking at the whole pros and cons. Cause the older won't do some stuff like won't dance, won't. How old? They will give me the age. Eighty. Ninety-eight. Ah, sixty-eight is not old. Ah, <laughs> I thought you were saying a hundred with rings all over the face. Sixty-eight and as a ruka. Which advice? Life advice would you tell someone? Just be true to yourself. Be authentic. Don't try to fit in. It will never work. It will only bring you down and confess who you are, and that's how you get into depression. Be true to yourself. Money advice. Do the best to have an account. Always have an account. And save. Look always where to invest. Never spend beyond what you have. Thank you. Are we done? <laughs> yeah, no, we are done. Oh. We're done with the face. How do you like it? It was very simple, but classy. Hmm. Simple is always classy. This is the point. So guys, you like it, so what I've said to you, I like it. I need to wish you hair line at one beer. To wish you the reveal, the big reveal. So here you go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, open. So we'll see. I had it on my hair. Nice. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. I love it. I, woof. Wow. Guy, I think this is the best. Yeah, 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 I think this is the best. Y
the kind that I sleep with. <laughs> Jesus help me not to sleep in this one. <laughs> but it's, it's totally awesome. Yeah. Why? I, I was I wish there was somebody to check me out for coffee today. I will. <laughs> you take me for coffee? Awesome. So I took it there. So I guess it put it So I totally love it. It's awesome and it's it's so me. It's it's, it's like, not out there and it's also not very feature. Oh, Thank you so much, guys, for watching. We love you so much. And don't forget to follow this amazing friend of mine, Please follow me. Helen Mudoni, Kenya, by Kwasi Show with Zake. And on Sunday, Rumuka Show. Oh, yes. On Instagram, follow me at Helen underscore. So on Facebook, Helen Mudoni, Kenya. Bye. Now, by YouTube. Uh, yes, YouTube. <clears throat> Thank you very much for reminding me. It is Helen Modoni Music or Helen Modoni Official. You find all my music there. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>